A submarine starts to yeah. fail. The sailor would connect a tube from their suit to the ship. The ship would inflate the suit with pressurized air. So that's an escape immersion suit that pressurizes it to match internal pressure before escape. Otherwise, the sailor would be crushed by the water pressure differential when opening the hatch which is the same logic behind reactor containment equalization. For venting or opening a pressure vessel, you equalize pressures on both sides. Otherwise, the rapid pressure gradient could rupture seals. Escape hatch floods until it matches the outside pressure. Yep, flooded on purpose to eliminate the pressure difference between the inside and the ocean. You equalize pressures before breaching containment. Doors open, the sailor would shoot upwards at fast but controlled speeds. The buoyant force on a pressurized suit is immense. Essentially a human-sized bubble of air. You could go up at 15 feet per second depending on depth. And the suits automatically vent expanding air as the sailor rises to avoid barotrauma from the expanding gas. Kind of like a pressure relief valve on a steam generator in a nuclear plant. Pressurized air would keep their lungs from bursting as the inner lining protects them from the cold temperature. Mm -hmm. Even with this, there's still gonna be a risk of hypothermia, but insulation is gonna be both structural and thermal. To reach the surface, they would quickly inflate a life raft attached to the suit, and the bright color would help rescuers spot them. Yep, visual signal and buoyancy. This is quite the engineering marvel that at this point could sustain life up to 24 hours. Just like you have post-accident containment recovery systems in a nuclear plant.